In this video, we're gonna be checking over my car ahead of quite the road trip this weekend. It's currently Thursday at the time of recording. Uh, we are going down to Hampshire to visit Up and Down. Uh, Kitch is doing a 25 hour live stream uh, this weekend uh, for a very, very good cause, Sophie's Legacy. It's a really good charity, really supports. And uh, lots of us YouTubers getting involved. Some are gonna be doing live streams. Some are gonna be actually visiting him um, at his studio. He's got a studio this year because Clement's in bits. He did it in the back of his DS last year, but has since dismantled it. So um, some of us are going down to see him in person. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to do a bit of support behind the scenes and just try and keep him fed and watered because what he's doing is frankly astonishing. It is very impressive. I can't cope if I don't get my seven hours kip. So how he's gonna cope with zero, I don't know. But there's gonna be challenges, there's gonna be dyno sessions. We might put an Ellie on the dyno uh, on Saturday, fingers crossed, see how things go. So lots of stuff to make this something truly special, to try and coax a little money out of your pockets for a really, really good cause. Uh, the charity itself, Sophie's Legacy, the work they do is astonishing. Sophie was a young girl, um, died of, uh, I think it was cancer related when she was very young, like 10 or 11. And um, she kind of encouraged her mother to um, look after parents of kids who were in hospital because there is no support for parents in terms of food and things like that. And generally just try and make hospital a nicer place to be for children and parents. It's amazing. This girl was inspiring and uh, that's why we are doing it. So I'm gonna drive probably around 600 miles, I should think, there and back. And uh, that's why, just to be part of this um, amazing cause. Does mean might be able to organize a, a impromptu, very informal social sometime on the Saturday night somewhere. If you've got venues um, anywhere between Fairham and Southampton uh, that uh, you think, oh, this would be ideal for an impromptu meet, let me know in the comments and maybe we can set something up. It, we won't have merch or anything like that. It'd just literally be a chat session somewhere but it would be a shame not to do something like that while i'm down in the area uh, kitch wraps up on f at four o'clock on saturday afternoon and then after that i think he will go and collapse somewhere um, which uh, means i'm then free to come and see one of you i'm doing some road tests while i'm down there as well because i thought again might as well while i'm down in the area but uh, yeah primarily we're going to be supporting kitch uh, and i'm appearing on his live stream officially uh, 11 o'clock on Saturday morning, so do tune in. That's um, up and down. Uh, go and find him on YouTube if you haven't already. He's up to 12,000 subs now, he's doing really well. And uh, yeah, I, I think uh, madness like this is to be actively encouraged. So uh, should be fun. Thank you, Ellie. Ellie's just saying it'll be fun as well. Uh, a few things I wanna do, I just wanna check the shock absorber mounts on this side. I think the engine oil is all right, but we'll check that. We'll check tire pressures as well. This one's looking just a little low. Uh, we'll have a quick peek around the bonnet just to make sure all is well. But I'm, I'm going to keep this video short because it's got to go out tonight. And uh, the longer I make it, the more of a pain it is. But that's what I'm planning to do. In terms of Giselle, uh, I need to get a booked in for MOT. I keep on forgetting to book the MOT. I must do that. Uh, next week is October. Good to get her on the road. May consider taking Giselle to the NEC if she behaves herself. Uh, will be her second time at the NEC. She appeared in um, 2021, was it? Yeah. Uh, Giselle and Tuck appeared together on, uh, at the NEC. So um, that could be a plan, probably. Uh, Bella is here having a well-deserved rest. She's had an incredibly busy summer. Bella the Berlingo. Um, the Matiz up the back. Haven't forgotten about the Matiz, but again, we're getting to that time of year. Is it worth getting it out? But I think it would be good to at least wake up the Matiz at least take it for a drive around the yard, get everything circulating and because she's been parked up over a year. That's not good times. And we've even got Shemi here. Shemi's up the back. Uh, obviously, Miss Hubnut has been learning to drive in Shemi, but Shemi is um, just resting as well. Miss Hubnut full of cold currently. The cold I'm now mostly over, thankfully. So, um, yeah, she, she's not really of a mood to be learning to drive at the moment. But uh, the test is booked for later this year. So, um, exciting times. Uh, yeah, let, let's start by having a quick look around it. I'm just gonna go and grab a 14 mil uh, spanner. I should be able to do that quite quickly and easily. So it's just three bolts in this wheel arch. Just wanna check they're actually tight because they weren't on the other side. Oh, that's definitely tight. That's not going anywhere. There's one there right behind the exhaust. Also nice and solid 
And there's one right at the top where you can't see. Sorry, um, waving my bum crack at the internet. But uh, hey, you kind of get used to people commenting on all and sundry. No, all good. Beautiful. So all the bolts this side are still tight. I might just check the others. I tightened them last time, but uh, better safe than sorry, eh? Yeah, and the people were saying, oh, oh, that one's rounding. Yeah, that's fun. But uh, nonetheless, it is tight. People were saying I should lock tight these, but I don't think they were ever lock tighted from the factory. They just rely on you actually doing them up properly, which I think is probably where I went wrong. Uh, talking of tools, the other thing I need to do is actually build a little toolkit to take with us just so we've got some essentials. Um, 11 mil, 8 mil, uh, 14 mil and uh, 19 cover pretty much everything on a 2CV. Uh, so, and screwdrivers, gaffer tape, you know, the usual sort of stuff. Assemble a little kit and then we're ready. Um, looking forward to this. Ellie hasn't had many adventures. Her last one, we took her to the British Motor Museum. Uh, where I went and filmed the um, XK120 LWK707. That was a great adventure, really enjoyed it. Ellie isn't getting a lot of use, to be honest. Um, she's been out this week. I thought, you know, there's a storm coming. I'll get my 2CV out. Very kind. But uh, she's been doing a bit of pottering local running about, which is nice. Gives um, other cars a bit of a break. But uh, yeah, uh, she hasn't done much adventuring of late and we must do more. I might have to do something about these wings as well, which uh, I deliberately painted this faded satin pink to match the old hood, but now we've got the new hood on. It doesn't match anymore, does it? So uh, that might be a winter project. We've got many winter projects. And uh, in, in terms of uh, getting Ellie's original engine looked at and perhaps reinstalled, um, Unfortunately, everyone I'm kind of working with to achieve goals like this and um, took the Invercar is having a really torrid time of it lately. I'm sure that's not my fault. It'll just get better, obviously, once they're working with me. But uh, yeah, there's been lots of hold up because people are frankly not having a nice time at the moment. So um, best wishes to everyone who's um, promised help with various aspects of the fleet. And uh, I hope your situations improve. But uh, yeah. This is achieving nothing. I'm going to go and assemble a toolkit and get ready. And uh, we're going to just check the oil level. I'm not going to film that. It's man checking oil levels. And uh, maybe just check all the lights are working, these side indicators. Absolute pain in the backside. Aftermarket ones, notoriously poor. And uh, we'll get underway. But yeah, that's what's going on. So um, off down to Hampshire. Try and organise something on the Saturday night. Let me know in the comments if you know somewhere suitable. Uh, starring on... Um, Kitchy's live stream, 11 o'clock Saturday morning, but uh, also just trying to offer a bit of help while he's doing it, because uh, he's doing all this solo, it's crazy. Uh, so yeah, should be good. Looking forward to meeting some new YouTubers. And uh, yeah, some of the people he's got involved, he's got auto shenanigans involved. I'm, I'm only just really getting into auto shenanigans. His Secrets of the Motorway series, superb and very funny. So go and check him out. Uh, Whiteland Restorations, I know, are having a chat. Uh, Steph I Driver Classic. There's so many people all getting involved and it's going to be um, great to see. I think JM uh, is also involved and I think the first guest is Project 27. They are linked by Project Professor Tomato, sorry, the BX 16 valve that Kitch has been working on on his channel. So it's going to be really good. I'm really excited and uh, yeah, hopefully see you in the chat. We, we will try to be online um, in the chat uh, as much as we can. Uh, Miss Hubnut will be back at home. Uh, she'll be in there, I'm sure. And uh, I will say a special plea to American and especially Australian New Zealand followers. Uh, Kitch's biggest challenge will be keeping going through the night because us Brits, including myself, I'm ashamed to say, will mostly be going to sleep and won't necessarily be offering him support and much to chat about. So, uh, yeah, if you're overseas somewhere in a different time zone, and you can keep Kitch going through the small hours, please do. He really does deserve your support. Right, that's quite enough waffle. That's the end of that. Uh, I'm gonna pack some tools, check my pressures and levels and everything, and be on my way. So um, yeah, see you from a live stream, or possibly in person even, soon. Farewell.